important thing of center, like I said, is finding the power within. All right. So now let's go to the next concept. All right. The next concept in our leveling up is facing. All right. Okay. So what is facing? All right. Facing really means to face what's in front of you. All right. It's facing your future, facing your destiny, facing your fears, right? Facing those hidden thoughts that you have, right? In self-defense, when someone attacks you, you don't turn your back to them, right? <laughs> this is bad, right? When you turn your back on the enemy, what happens? You're vulnerable, right? What do you do? You face them, right? Because that's how you're going to counterattack. You don't give them your flank. You don't give them your side, right? You give them your front and face what's coming head on. When you face, you can maneuver, right? It's easier to move to maneuver because you know what's, what's being uh, thrown at you, right? This concept is very important because once you center yourself, now you need to learn to face whatever thing that you're dealing with. Whatever problem you have, you have to face it head on. Facing takes courage. That's big. In order to face your fears, you must have courage. You must be fearless. And courage isn't the absence of fear. It's being able to move forward even when you're scared, right? That's what true courage is, right? Trying something that you've never tried before, that, that can be daunting. That's what facing is. Being able to face down your future. That's why this is important, right? Facing is the center line, right? When you're fighting someone, you want your center line to be on them, right? You want their center line to be off of you because the person who has their center line on them, they have more control. If I'm facing here, my center line is this way. Someone's facing to me, they can attack me because their center is right on me. That's why it's so important to understand. Very simple concept. But it's, it goes, you can go really in depth with all of these things. You could talk for hours about just one of these things, right? But I really want you to understand each and every one. They have their purpose. Let me ask you a question, okay? What's your biggest fear? Biggest fear, I would say, to not try. Why? Because if you don't try, then you can't learn when you fail. Failure should be something you can learn from. So if you don't try it, then you won't know what to succeed or you're going to fail. But you got to try. That is the right mentality. Because learning is all about failure. And here's the, here's the truth, right? You don't, you don't really fail until you give up. Once you give up, then you fail, right? But if you keep going and going and going, you're not really failing. You're learning, right? When you first learn how to walk as a baby, how much times did the baby falls, right? If you're a parent, you are, and I am. When your baby is first learning how to walk, how much times does it fall? To see if she gets back up, yes, right? Because <laughs> eventually they like, I'm gonna do this thing, right? That's why we have to really have the mindset of children, right? Because children, they keep trying over and over and over until they get it, right? That's how we need to be. Right? We don't stop at once, right? We don't stop at twice. We don't stop at three times. We keep going until we get this thing. That's what a true winner is. Winners never quit, right? And quitters never win, right? Same thing. Learn from failure. I liked your response because failure is important. It's a big learning tool. Most people are, they fear failure, right? And because of that, they don't accomplish, they accomplish very little in life because they fear to try, <laughs> because they don't want to fail. I tell you, if you fear failing, then you better go out and try everything that you can and fail at it. Because once you keep doing that, once you face that fear, <laughs> sky's the limit for you. You can do anything you set your mind to. That's the truth. That's how wonderful we are. That's how beautiful we are as people, right? Everyone is unique. Everyone is powerful. That's, that's what they don't want you to know, right? It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what skin tone you are, all right? There's only one race, and that's the human race. That's what I believe, okay? Mankind is one species. We all come from the same thing, same individual, all right? 
We are one big family on this one earth that we have. Even though we have differences, there's more similarities than there are differences. We all have two eyes, two ears, one nose, two nostrils, one mouth, one upper lip, one bottom lip. We got teeth. Some people have less than others, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? We all got two hands. We all got 10 fingers, most, for the most part. Some people got extra things. And some people lost one, but that's what we're programmed with. We got two legs, right? We got a mind to think. We all wear clothes, man. Come on. We have more in common than we do different. But we focus so much on the differences. Come on. Don't do that to yourself, man. Learn to love one another. That's what the kingdom is all about, man, all right? This is what the art of leveling up is all about, all right? So let's move on, all right? We, we, we dealt with the center. We dealt with facing. Now we're going to deal with the next concept, okay? 